In the EU, more people are homeless and citizens are struggling to afford a roof over their heads. Will you take the responsibility for an EU strategy on social housing as a part of your commitment to reduce poverty? And next to that, in my country, starters and lower middle income families can often not find appropriate housing on the private market. But the EU has forbidden the Netherlands to provide this group with social housing. This is the EU hindering actively a successful social policy. To truly deliver on social housing, will you push in the college to remove the restrictions imposed by the EU on member states, social housing policy, to only target specific users? Well, you know, I'm coming also from a country where there is really a, a housing problem. And uh, the housing problem is now uh, in many, mem many member states. Uh, though the competence uh, in this area is really with the member states, I think that Europe can really play a triggering role uh, when uh, we encourage, first, more investment in housing. Uh, we have now, we are about now to create a certain number of new investment tools. And uh, when we talk about poverty, investing in housing, it's also a tool to reduce poverty. Because people who are homeless, people who are uh, in, in bad housing conditions, they do not come out of poverty. And especially their children cannot come out of poverty. So I think we have to discuss with the member states that uh, social housing under fair, fair conditions, and you mentioned the problem of uh, competition, indeed, uh, what we have really to analyze and uh, to uh, have a serious look at if uh, these conditions are still adapted to the reality on the ground. But I think there is a necessity for promoting investment in housing in many places in Europe. Not all of them, in many places in Europe. So uh, certainly in the limits of the competences of the Union, uh, I will very much try to integrate this dimension into our fight against poverty and uh, include, uh, our, our commitment for inclusion. Follow-up question. Thank you for your answer, um, but um, will you actively take this responsibility for an EU strategy on social housing? You s mentioned a lot that you find it very important for young people to have a fair start on the labour market, and I hope you agree that it's also very important for young people to have a fair start on the housing market. Now, it's not only uh, the Commissioner for Jobs and, uh, and eventually Social Affairs who, who can do that. It, we have to do that with other commissioners. It's an economic issue. It's certainly a social issue. It's a financial issue. We have to sort out what kind of financial means we can mobilize in order to encourage investment in housing. So I'm part of a team. The Commission is not one Commissioner deciding that's what we will do, but the Commission is also a college, it's a team. So if we can work, and I think there is really the intention uh, of this Commission to uh, do something in relation to uh, the housing problem in many uh, areas of Europe, linked to the situation of young people, linked to the situation of kids, linked uh, of jobs. If you have no house, you won't find a job. So I will certainly be one of them pushing for uh, solutions, given the limited competence the U Union has, but also taking into account the financial means we can mobilize for at least pushing member states to be more, uh, uh, to do more in this very crucial and sensitive area. 